welcome back to another video on my channel. For today's video, I thought I would do a story time on um, how I told my parents about Inam. Um, a lot of you guys have been requesting this video for a while, so I thought I would do it as um, I will say my side and then I'll get Inam to come up and he can say how he told his family and yeah. So if you want to know how I told my parents about my Pakistani husband, um, then just keep watching. So growing up, my parents were quite relaxed when it came to me and um, for my sisters as well, um, meeting somebody and um, finding somebody that we want to be with. Uh, they only really had two requirements, which was that um, the person should be a Muslim, which is what I am as well, and that he should have a degree. So other than that, they were quite open to um, anyone from another country but ideally I'm sure they would have preferred South Asian in general and maybe not um, someone from a completely different culture. So growing up we didn't really have much pressure on that. Um, me and Inam met when we were in school, a lot of you guys know and if you don't know then go watch our um, video, the husband tag, um, which I'll link for you up here and um, you can find out more about us there. So um, we told our parents, I want to say early 2018 so we got married in 2019 and I remember slowly telling members of my family um, from 2018 um, around January February time I started telling um, my family members so the first person that I think I told in my family was probably my aunt my mum's sister because my mum is the eldest out of her siblings and all of her sisters and her brother are younger than her and they're quite close in age to me like the age gap between me and my aunties and my uncle is not that big so I've grown up being really close and having a really nice open relationship with them where I've been able to share anything and everything with them so I thought it's probably best if I speak to them first to get them on board and then if my parents need convincing I know that they'll have my back so I remember telling one of my mum's sisters first and she was so supportive from the get-go. Um, her husband is Iranian, so she knows how it is and like um, how it could be difficult to maybe explain to your parents or get them to come around. So she was super chill. Um, after that, I told my dad's sister, so my aunt from my dad's side, who again, I'm really close to. I only have one auntie on my dad's side. Anyway, my dad only has one sister. So again, we're really close. So I told her and she was over the moon too. And um, then slowly I told all of my mum's siblings first. Obviously my sisters already knew um, and they were all getting really excited. And um, I also kind of hinted to my grandma. Um, she lived with me when I was living with my parents. And she's also quite chill. I used to um, kind of say it to her in a jokey way, like, oh yeah, well, she'll be, she, she used to say to me, oh, you know, you're the right age to get married now, let's find you somebody, blah, blah, blah. Like, in Bengali culture, it's very common to have your parents um, set you up with somebody or find you potential people to see if you have any interest in any of them. So she would always um, suggest those to me as a joke and I would reply saying, oh, I might already have somebody and you know kind of hint it to her and then she would ask more questions and I would say a bit without saying too much to her so she basically knew as well. Then around March time I thought maybe I should tell my mum now because all of my aunties and uncles all know and they all want to get excited and they all want to talk about it but um, I don't know how my mum is gonna be so um, I don't even I don't even remember how I told mum but I feel like I feel like my sisters can probably remember too, so comment down below if you two are watching because I don't fully, fully remember. Um, looking back, it was all a bit of a blur, but um, I must have said it to her one time to see how she would react. I said that, you know, we're just talking and stuff, and she was like, hmm, what, what, what does he do? Like, what, what's his degree in? So the thing with Inam is he went to uni and then he dropped out so he never finished uni and I knew that my mum's major major requirement was he needs to be degree educated which by the way I don't agree with I don't feel that that's 
that should be a deciding factor in whether you should be with somebody or not or any of that but that was her requirement at the time and I remember telling her that he um he he has a job but he won't be graduating because he left uni and me and her went back and forth so many times on so many different occasions about why having a degree is necessary to her and how that's gonna make my life oh so amazing versus me saying it's not about the degree it's about the person and how they treat you her ideal person I feel like for me back then would have been a doctor or an engineer or something and there's so many conversations we had back and forth where I was like well what if I marry a surgeon and then his hands fall off you know he has an accident and he has to ha his hands get chopped off then he can't work ever again then I won't be financially stable so it doesn't matter like you know if somebody has a job that they don't require a degree versus somebody has a job that does require a degree you can still work your way up to a certain level where you can sustain your financial situation and live within your means so that shouldn't be a massive factor but a lot of it took a long time like several months for me to get my mum on board fully because she was I feel like looking back she probably just felt that she wanted me to be with somebody who was financially secure because even though I've graduated I don't use my degree in a in in a workplace I do other stuff for work which doesn't earn me that much let's not lie so she probably thought you know she wants to go in the creative direction so she needs to be with somebody who's got a stable solid job and can provide for that but I just didn't feel that that was important and um it took from like end of Feb March to May I feel like to convince my mum um to get her on board that it doesn't matter it's not a big deal like you know the main thing is how the person treats you and I know that Inam would never do anything to upset me or to hurt me or you know abandon me or any of that stuff so I, I had to really convince her on that in the meantime my dad still has no clue so by this point my mum knows my gran knows my mum's siblings know, my dad's sister knows, my sisters obviously know, and my mum's mum knows, my nan as well, because she's pretty chill too. So everyone knows except for my dad, but the big thing was we was all kind of shitting bricks to tell my dad. Like, I feel like when it comes to this stuff, my dad comes across very strict or unapproachable, um, not really open to talking about it. Like, if he knows about it, he he'll brush it under the carpet and it wouldn't even really get mentioned but he's not the type of person you can have a conversation about oh yeah dad I met somebody and he's this and he's that I just I don't know I just thought that he he's just gonna like his head is gonna explode because I'm the eldest I'm the first one like you know there's so many factors and I feel like how do I tell my dad my mum was also scared to tell my dad and my gran who's my dad's mother was also kind of anxious to tell my dad um just in case because we just didn't know how he was going to react so eventually when my mum finally got on board I got her and my gran to tell my dad I just couldn't bring myself to do it I was just too scared and I just thought oh no what if he gets mad uh, I don't want to get into an argument with him like I just don't know how it's going to go so I'll let the adults handle it and go from there so I remember one evening my gran and my mum sat my dad down downstairs at the dining table and me and my younger sister were at home as well, me and Muddy, and we <laughs> we were literally at the top of the stairs, like with our ears like hanging down, trying to listen to what they're saying because we knew that they were about to tell dad, but we didn't know how it was gonna go. And we could basically hear the whole conversation fully as well. So um yeah, we were kind of just like listening out and I remember it was my mum that brought it up to my dad and she told him okay it's this guy he's Pakistani um obviously she's known him from school so you might have met him or come across him back then and stuff like that and then my dad literally just asked two questions like I still remember it so vividly that one moment because I've never heard my dad talk about any of this stuff before so um, I don't think I'll ever forget that moment where I just heard him say, well, is he Muslim? Is he Sunni? 
which is like a type of Muslim. He just asked those two questions and my mum was like, yeah, he is both. And then my mum goes, but he doesn't have a degree. She was just like, yeah, he's, he's, he's a Muslim, but he doesn't have a degree. So, oh my God. And I remember my dad saying, I don't care. Like, I don't care that he doesn't have a degree. Mom, my mum was then like, well, what are people going to say? What are people going to think? And I remember my dad being like, I don't care what people have to say or what people think. And it was literally just as easy as that. That is as easy as it was. Like, I cannot believe I feared so much what my dad would say and how he would feel and how he would react. And I thought we we're going to get into this massive fight and you know it was never going to happen he literally asked two questions and when my mum tried to say oh but this and over oh, that he was like i don't really care like as long as he's a muslim it's fine with me that was how i told my parents it was my mum that needed the most convincing out of both of my parents but i mean i feel like now i can understand where she was coming from obviously at the time i was fuming and i was just like why are you being so stubborn but now looking back like I get it she just wanted me to be financially secure but now she knows that you know it's not just about financial security it's about how a person treats you and she loves Inam to bits and she says it all the time so yeah I feel like that little bit of convincing and the back and forth between me and her was worth it because it paid off. I'll get Inam to tell you his side now I think and then we can talk about how we proceeded from then how our families met each other as well. Okay guys, so Inam's here to tell you from his side now um, about how he told his parents about me because obviously I wouldn't really know that, so take it away. Okay, so she's obviously told you her side. Uh, my one's a lot more uh, short and sweet. Obviously being a guy, it's not as as the sort of daunting for us. So yeah. it's sort of like just, you know, we just sort of yeah. get on with it really. Um, so the first person I told was my brother. Uh, he's three years older than me, so we're quite close. So I thought that'd be the easiest route. And I'm sure he obviously knows a little bit about our history before that time anyway. So I thought, let me speak to him. He only got recently married a couple of years before I did as well. So I thought, let me approach him and see what, what he did. So I went for a drive with him, went around the corner. Uh, I spoke to him, basically just told him what he already knew. You know, he already knew that. Do you that. think he had a suspicion? Yeah, 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 I think he already knew that, you know, I was talking to someone blah blah yeah. blah and it was you and he yeah. already knew you so the first thing he really said was just just tell your parents you know just or our parents he said <laughs> obviously <laughs> it'd be weird if he told me my parents um yeah that's told so he said just 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 tell mum and dad they'll be able to sort it from there because he realized i got to a stage where it was time to tell my parents there was nothing else that i had to do on my end oh, okay uh he didn't really make any comments like you know he didn't really have too much of an opinion towards it because, you know, me and him have always kind of been like mates, you know, I, I just tell him what's going on with me, he tells me what's going on yeah, with him. Yeah, we yeah. don't really advise each other like that. So yeah. he said, just speak to mum and dad and get that bit sorted. So we drove home. Um, I think it was later on that same day, actually, oh. I told my mum uh, before my dad, obviously. Um, That's strange. I thought a guy might tell. I I don't know why I had the impression that a guy would be more open to speaking to the dad and a girl might be more open to speaking to the girl but that's a very biased thing to be fair like yeah. a lot of girls are also have a really open relationship with their dad so yeah. i guess it works both ways no it? it depends on your own relationship yeah. really but i think yeah. it's probably a common thing to to think that you know it's easier to have a conversation with your mum um she's a little bit more emotional and pathetic oh, yeah, or true. whatever so i yeah. spoke to her um again my mum's really simple you know she she you know she's not one with a lot of words, you know, she was happy straight away. You could tell she was happy. I mean, the main thing is she already somewhat knew Sour as well, you know, because yeah. obviously we'd been talking for a long time and, you know, my mum was happy with Sour as a person and it wasn't, it wasn't even an issue how, you know, obviously some people get married out of their sort culture. of culture. Yeah. Um, obviously her being Bengali and me being Pakistani, I thought that might be an issue. Um, I thought she would have made a comment or, you know, not even a bad thing but like she mentioned might, it. might mention you know like oh did couldn't you find someone or didn't you find someone in your own from your own country but she didn't say anything like she didn't that say anything. nothing at oh, all wow. yeah she was just happy yeah um i think i spoke to her about it later i was just like oh mum like 
remember when I told you about Asawa and stuff, like, what did you think? Because I didn't want to ask her there and then. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, no, she was happy. Main thing was, she was just like, her main thing was that she hopes that the person I find is from the same religion. So that was the main thing, you know, mm -hmm. once I told her it was you, she already knew, obviously, you were yeah. and this, that, and yeah. the other. So I had told my mum to tell my dad just to let him know then when I have a conversation with mum and dad, he's not blindsided. Make so sense, she, she yeah. must have told him overnight and stuff. And then... The next day, I spoke to my sister. Um, yeah. I told my sister about it. My sister's like really excitable anyway. Again, <laughs> same thing. She knew yeah. Sawa. Yeah, we they knew had a each quite other. a quite a yeah. close relationship, you know. Yeah. Uh, in the past, <clears throat> so she was like over the moon about it. Um, and again, she knew your sisters at that yeah, point as knew, well. Yeah, she knew. Yeah, like my sisters and Inam's sisters knew each other. They've spoken before. They've met each other before and stuff like that. So it made it that much easier and that yeah. much more exciting for them being our siblings and knowing each other already, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then I think it was in the same day, probably just after I told my sister, I told my sister-in-law, and she was happy as well. Like, she married to my older brother and she's only, like, older than us by not... not by a year, I think. By a year. Yeah. So before that point... No, two years. Yeah, two years, yeah. yeah. yeah two years. Before that point, me and her were, like, close, like, friends, sort of, like, you know what yeah. I'm trying to say, similar age, and as soon as I told her about you, yeah. you know, she took on that, that, you know, if you need anything, let me know, yeah. blah, 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 guidance sort of yeah. thing, That's and nice. that, that was nice. When did you have a conversation uh, with your dad? <laughs> this one's, this one's, this one's the last one, obviously. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm being dramatic. My dad's proper cool, like, he's so, he's so understanding, you know, so... He'd already spoke to my mum and he I'm sure he'd probably ask whatever he had to ask her. Obviously, I never asked my mum what he said. But when I sat them down, obviously everyone knew what was going down. So I said, you know, I said the generic stuff, you know, I'm looking to progress with, you know, this girl, blah, blah, blah. You know her. And I mean, dad was straight to the point. He was just like, right, OK, so when are we going to go around or <laughs> what's the protocol? Because he didn't know either, you know, being that. You know, like from a different yeah, Pakistani, but like, like, he didn't know how it works. So, well, for for you guys, yeah. So he was just asking me, you know, like, what's the next step? Then you know, you know, you seem like you're ready to take the step. What's the next step? Mm. Um, I think to that point, I must have asked you. I was just like, right, everyone on my side is all good. I feel like you told <laughs> everyone so quickly on your side as well. Oh like... yeah, literally two days. Like it was all done wow. in two days. And... and there was me with my like three month long process. <sighs> Slowly trying Holy. to get one person on board after didn't, another. Oh, God. Didn't your postman know before your dad? Maybe. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm <Probably>. joking. <laughs> I was too scared. I was so scared to tell my dad, but he was the most chill. He was yeah, literally so chill. To be honest, like, credit to your dad for that massively because oh, he nice. was the one that you was afraid of telling the most. Yeah. And no offence to anyone else, he was probably the most sweet. Out yeah. Of everyone, you know. Yeah. He, he just got the basic, you know. What he needed to know. And is he Muslim? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He That's didn't it. care what Same anyone else mom, had really. to say. He didn't care what what people might say. Whatever whole, you know, like, like Asian. Fiasco yeah. He didn't care about the stuff. education stuff. He didn't care about like being from a different culture. What Bengali community people might, like? In general, my family didn't really mind about a different culture anyway. But yeah, yeah, yeah. my dad was actually a proper chill. So. I mean, it's not going to happen again for me, but I feel like for my sisters, we should not be scared to tell my dad when they get to that time in their life. I think for your sisters, it's a completely different I know, situation. because I was the lab rat and I had to go for everything to make to pave the way and make it easier for them. See, that too, <laughs> but at the same time, like, your sisters, like, you know, they listen to your parents, you know, so they have no reason to... Oh, that's Driven. true. They're not... He was a bit more of a rebel child. But you know, I was a rebel like my parents. Yeah. My parents are rebels too. That's, so... yeah, fair enough. The apple didn't fall far from the tree. Yeah, no, it didn't. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, after that, basically, um, I think our, our dad spoke on the phone or yeah, something like that. Yeah, that was the next step, yeah. And we arranged um, a meeting. Yeah, so they came round for the first time, like within a month or so. When we came round. <laughs> oh my god. And I was a different person. He had no voice, he was a mute. The I did not day. say, like, I said, like, five words. The entire evening, he said five words. Yeah, my back was aching because I had to sit up straight. Like, I didn't want to slouch or anything, so I was just sitting there, like... <laughs> but thank thankfully, like, my brother, I, like, sort of just took over yeah. and just... just yeah, because from that first time that you guys came round, 
my mum was like, wow, Inham's brother's so chatty. He's so outgoing. Why is Inham so quiet? <laughs> like, is he, has he always You got the wrong brother. <laughs> she was just like, why is he so quiet? And his brother's the outgoing one. But I was like, no, no, he is outgoing. He's just scared around you guys. So Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of riding on that. so Yeah, you had to be kind of on your to, best behaviour yeah, and whatever, good. yeah. So after that, then they we went around to their house and yeah. then we kind of just went back and forth a few times. Yeah. Um, until like our parents sat down and they decided a, a date for the wedding and a date for when we should have our engagement party and all of that stuff yeah. and yeah so i would say we got done telling our parents and they first met maybe like uh june or july 2000 no june may or june 2018 yeah and then we had our engagement party in september the same year and we had our wedding um date set for 2019 uh, summer so yeah from then things kind of moved really fast and um once everyone met each other as well mm. everyone was really happy like yeah, yeah. any sort of concerns that my mum might have felt about Inam or about me moving to a different family like as anyone would like you're gonna leave how they're gonna be blah blah, blah. but they were really pleasantly surprised and um I think that's it yeah my, my side done. Yeah, your side is really short. Yeah, it's but easy for Did you for tell them on the same day that you told your sister and your sister in law, or like the day after? Or like No, it was it was the same day. Cause wow, I was, you told yeah, everyone in two days. Two days, yeah. Because <laughs> the thing is, I didn't want to risk telling someone and then someone else from my immediate family finding out that I haven't told them. You know, that was what I was really careful of. So yeah. the moment I told my mum, I knew I had to speak to my dad the following day and I thought before I speak to my dad, it's only fair I speak to all my siblings. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I didn't really want to speak to my sister or my sister-in-law after I spoke to my dad because for us, it's like, once your dad is, yeah, it's done, yeah, you know? It's... So I wanted to make sure I speak to everyone before I finalise everything, if, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. So that is the story of how we told our parents about each other and how they took it and... The rest is history. Here we are a year and a half later and all of that. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a massive like. Um, leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see next. Um, if you have any other things that that you, you want to know, know yeah. yeah, about us or what it's like being married to a Pakistani or Bengali, whichever way around. So other than that, um, subscribe if you haven't already and go join the giveaway. So if you don't know, I will link a video here for you of what I'm doing for a giveaway for reaching 500 subscribers. The giveaway ends on the 6th of March. So you still got a little bit of time. If you want to go ahead and enter, it's very easy. And yeah, go ahead and enter and you might have a chance of winning. So yeah. Other than that, I will catch you on my next video. Bye! <laughs> what? What's so funny? I didn't do What's anything. So funny? I didn't do anything. <laughs>